Hello guys and welcome to another video from TechSide360. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install MinGW compiler for Windows, uh, how to configure the Atom editor with MinGW to use for C and CPP programming or C++ programming. And uh, in the next video, I will show you how to use code blocks with the MinGW, uh, how to set up code blocks. But in this video, I'm basically going to focus on the Atom editor uh, to use with MinGW and to embed the graphics library into MinGW so that you can render uh, graphics using C P C++ uh, in the use on on Windows using the MinGW compiler. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, let's head over to Atom.io to download the Atom editor because that's that's what uh, we are going to configure with MinGW. So I have already installed it, uh, but the, but it is e very easy to install. Just download the installer, and then uh, double click the installer. It will launch the installer, and just it will easily install. You don't have to do anything after that. Now the next thing we are going to need is the MinGW uh, installation manager. So head over to MinGW.org. now what i have observed is that the setup that uh, is downloaded from the osdn uh, is bit a little bit buggy it does not download and connect to the internet so we are going to download the latest installation manager from sourceforge.net so go to google and search for mingw and uh, click on the sourceforge.net website okay and download this this is the latest installation manager now this is also the official file so you don't have to worry add the duplicate okay and open the file uh, now this is what you will see after opening the installation installer and the default installation directory is uh, c mingw uh, you can uh, move it to another partition but make sure that the mingw folder is always in the root of that partition in my case it is c so I, i'll say let it be where it is you don't need to worry about that and let's continue it will download and set up the installation manager and uh, download some basic files you need internet for that and uh, sometimes it takes time even though your internet is fast enough it will take time and the uh, files are even small but I don't know uh, either the servers are slow or there's some problem so don't worry about that it will take time okay so this is completed and let's continue now uh, so after that you will see such a window now what you ha we have to install is the c and cpp compiler that is the gcc compiler uh, which is basically a linux compiler but it is ported to windows and called as the gnu gcc compiler or c++ compiler so here is the compiler we want this is g the gnu c++ compiler ignore everything else if you want to go with uh, objective c you can install this one this is for the objective c and this is the C and CPP compiler. So just click on the checkbox and mark for in installation. Then head over to this installation option and click apply changes. And uh, again click apply. So now this is a very lengthy process. It will take time. Like in my case, uh, actually the files are cached, hence the bar is going fast enough. But if you are downloading the uh, files for the first time it will take like a long time around 20 to 25 minutes if the internet is pretty good so don't worry the servers are slow so guys I thought that the files are cached because I previously downloaded and uninstalled the uh, installation manager and the mingw but that's not the case it is downloading all the files again so i don't know why but this time it's downloading faster than the previous
sometimes it really is very slow and tiring so just start the installation and maybe have a cup of coffee and uh, all the changes were applied successfully you may now do close this dialog so we will close it and our MinGW installation is done so there's nothing to worry about now just open the atom uh, editor So when you open Atom for the first time, you won't uh, you won't see such a window. You will see uh, multiple windows here, but don't worry. There's nothing to fear. Just close them all. They are just welcome notes and links to everything. So don't worry. Close them all. Now what we need to do is we need to install some packages in the Atom, and uh, to do that, head over to Settings in the file menu and uh, head over to install now in the install uh, packages search for gpp compiler now what basically uh, this does is it uh, utilizes the mingw compiler to compile and run code in the atom uh, editor itself so this is not an actual compiler it's just it just uses mingw compiler to use with atom editor to compile and run the program so let it install and uh, we are going to install one more package but it is optional uh, if you want to install we, if you are going to write long codes you will need it so the package is called as autocomplete autocomplete clang okay here it is so install this also this is optional not necessary but it is good it's pretty handy now I think that uh atom editor using atom editor to program in c and cpp is more efficient and uh more less tiring than using code blocks and this is my personal opinion so please don't take it seriously i mean take it seriously but it's my opinion i like atom it is simple and uh, elegant code blocks is more confusing so that's why i don't like code blocks but uh that's why I created this video to configure Atom because I want this was this is my favorite editor and I wanted to program C and C++ in this editor itself. So I found a way and that's why I created this video. So we are done with the settings now uh, and let's close this and uh, yeah I forgot one more thing the most important thing as we install the compiler but we just installed it. Uh, the programs do not know where it is installed so for that we need to add the compiler to the environment variable path so to do that press windows r and uh, type control to open the control panel uh, head over to system and security and click on system again click on advanced system settings and uh, it will pop up a new window and you can see environment variables click on it now this may uh, look like a little bit, little bit messy but don't worry just ignore everything else and please do not change anything else if you don't know what you're doing that will mess up with uh, your windows and just go in this system variables ignore the user variables head over to system variables uh, and find path okay here is the uh, variable path and cl double click on it it will again open a new window now you want to what you want to do is create a new environment variable and then browse 
now just uh, head over to the folder in which you installed the mingw compiler in my case it was local c uh, open the mingw folder and you will see a bin folder this is what you want to add to your environment variable because it contains all the necessary files to execute the program using the mingw compiler so select the bin folder and click on ok and you can see a new environment variable and then click ok if you don't click ok the settings won't be saved and you're done it is as easy as that now again open uh, atom io or the atom editor and i have here a very simple c program which just prints hello world so now it is very easy to compile and run in this uh, atom editor you just press f5 to compile and run and f6 to compile and debug so unless you are writing long long C program or CPP programs you don't need to debug because otherwise it is easy to understand but uh, it is nice to have a debugger. So now we will compile and run this program so I, I will press F5. Okay so yeah this is what you will get if you don't restart the item editor. So you need to restart it or uh, just close the window and open it again yeah so here we are now we'll compile and run the program just press f5 and yes here we are hello world press any key to continue just press any key and it will close the console and it works perfectly and uh, as you as you see uh, as you saw in the previous uh, error you get all the errors in this portion uh, the red errors are most critical yellow are less critical and uh, you can uh, see everything here you can link a github account git account or everything repositories and everything uh, here you get every warning linter warnings uh, linter errors linter infos and everything so it is pretty easy to use and that's why i like it it is sleek uh, and it looks pretty good to program with now from this part onwards uh, those people who don't want to use the graphics library can stop the video here but those who want to use the graphics library and develop some uh, programs which render graphics in the mingw compiler uh, should continue watching the video now to add the graphics libraries uh, you need to head to the github I have created a repository in which I have linked all the files. Uh, when you uh, go to GitHub, search for win b g sorry b g i m and jump to this repository. That's my repository, and uh, just clone or download download the zip file. Now win b g i m is the like the port for the min g w to render graphics. So I'll just move it to desktop and save download. I will give the links to everything in the description below. Close it. Close the browser. Extract this uh, folder. Uh, sorry, extract this zip file to a folder. And here we are. So now it is again easy. It is pretty easy. What you have to do is copy the header files that is the files with extension dot h select both the files click copy head over to the mingw folder and go to include and paste the files here okay the graphics dot h and the winbgm dot h okay again go back to that extracted folder and copy the lib bgi.a this is the actual library copy this file again head over to the main gw folder and then paste this file in the lib that is library folder okay we are done we are done with this that's all the only thing left is to paste the linker settings uh, now this is specific for everything like in code blocks you have to do it 
in a different way so in code blocks you head over to linker settings and just paste it here paste it uh, in that uh, in that uh, options and uh, in code blocks you also have to uh, specify the path for the library but in in case with atom uh, we just need to copy this copy the options open the atom editor now graphics are rendered using C++ so we need to change settings for the C++ compiler so again head over to settings uh, and uh, go to packages and remember we've installed uh, GPP compiler head over to settings for GPP compiler and you can see four blank spaces for the, uh, giving options so we want to add options for the C++ compiler. So as you can see here, C++ compiler options or these are also called as linker settings for code blocks. So just click here and paste all the options. Okay. And uh, close it. You are done. You are done. Like basically done. Now you don't need to touch any settings after this. You can just enjoy programming C and C++ in Atom. So to demonstrate whether the graphics library is working or not, we'll take an example program. So this program is uh, written in C++ and uh, it renders three lines in the console. So let's compile it and run. Press F5 and it is as easy as that. Press F5. It will compile now. This compiling now. it take time okay so ignore the error this is this will be there because since it is ported not everything is perfect as you can see there are three lines rendered you can change their position if you want to try i will also give the uh, link to this program this graphic program cpp program and yeah here we are everything is work, working perfectly in the next video, I'll show you how to use code blocks to configure with MinGW and also configure the graphics library with this uh, settings in uh, linker settings in the code blocks. So we are done for this video. If it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this helpful videos. And thank you for watching the videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you again.